Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope everyone is doing okay. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Today we're going to be looking at the Frost Arcana skin. Now this is a skin that I am refreshing. I did a video for it a while. But today I have decided to bring you another quality content by giving you a cinematic review of the skin itself. Like every other skin in the game, this is one of those deluxe skins and it comes in two parts. The first one is the skin itself which is going to cost you 165 plats and the second one is the bundle which will be the skin itself and a sword skin for your regular long sword which will call you, cost you 215 plats. Now, like every other situation with every other deluxe skin which includes other items, I will suggest and advise you to get the bundle because you won't be able to get everything else if you only bought the skin. So with that out of the way, let us look at the aesthetics of the skin and see what it looks like. First look, looking at the silhouette, it looks amazing, it looks terrifying, it looks like the devil from the dark. And once we put some light on him, it just looks amazingly well done because I love the way it resembles and it mimics the Viking Age. The sword itself, the armor, everything was just well done. I love the chest plate and how shiny it is and how tintable it is as well. This is one of those deluxe items in the game that has more than one tintable side. It has majority of the frame tintable and also the chest piece tintable as well. The cloth physics was on an average side as far as how it flows and how it glides because we all know that Frost had that cloth physics messed up that they just fixed few updates ago. I love the fact that the chest piece and the abs were very defined. You can customize this to be silver to a dark silver, maybe a gold or rose gold. And of course, some aspects underneath the horns and underneath the helmet around the neck can be tinted as well. It gives it the Victorian age and of course gives it the old age Viking feel. I mean, with this weapon like with, and with this skin, you can pierce the faces of heaven. I mean, you are getting ready for Valhalla with this skin. I mean, it's just so amazingly well done. It is one of my favorite skins when it comes to deluxe skins in the game. I love the way the leg armor and the leg plates fit well. This is one of those skins in the game that I will say you hardly ever want to put any attachments on it as far as sign down the shoulder guards or even leg guards or chest plates because all around it was just perfect. Now when this skin first came out there were a little bit of uh, effects and a little bit of mess ups around the waist area where there was this huge bump. But few updates after they changed and adjusted that so it fitted and blended in very well. Now this is one of those things where of course I love everything but I would have loved it if the neck area was a little bit shorter and of course if the horns were a little bit shorter so it would give it that stocky feel because I know I've seen a lot of movie with Vikings and a lot of movie that implemented that. I'm not for art from Ireland or any of those. However, I know a lot of them, some of their arms are a little bit smaller. However, they try to exaggerate this, which is what I believe DE went for in this. And I will say they hit a home run with a sword. I love the eyes texture on there. It's pretty much like watching Game of Thrones all over again or watching Vikings all over again. So this all together is a well done skin. If you love Frost, if you main Frost, go ahead and get the skin. It is really, really good. It is well done. And of course, you can substitute the helmet from some, for some of your helmets in the game. And if this is your style, if Frost is your style, don't also forget to get the Ice Wave and Pendants of me because it will just makes you look much more like a badass in the game. That will be it for this review. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to go ahead and do so. And if you love this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. As always, it is DA signing out. I'll see you in the next one.